Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, this one is going to be about um, how to have an Unreal type of uh, node and node socket uh, release in Blender. So I did a video about this previously, so I guess maybe you have checked that out. Uh, I'm going to redo this one uh, a bit over because now I have a better mic. So what happened was uh, this guy called Scottish Cyclops saw the video and uh, thought it was a good idea and um, wanted to help out. So he, he has made a like first initial step. So if you go to GitHub, check out Scottish Cyclops and his uh, repository socket search. You have like uh, a couple of source files here to download, which I've done. But uh, I'm going to start uh, explaining. I'm going to go over basically what I did in the first video, explain uh, what it is and uh, why I want it in Blender. So let's jump into Unreal. So yeah, I already opened up the blueprint for this uh, third person character controller. So how it works in Unreal is that um, with the node sockets, uh, you can uh, just drag out the noodle from the socket. So if I take this one uh, to target uh, uh, the jump uh, function of this character, but uh, this in input should be in yeah, uh, um, a character. So anyways, it's uh, as you can see, it's typecast. <coughs> so I only get uh, these... Uh, of course, I get a search. I can search for everything. But uh, here I have... Uh, you can select, like, <coughs> get player character, uh, get a pawn. So it's, uh, it's typecast already. Uh, let's take uh, a number input instead. So if I take the, uh, or sorry, number output, if I take this number output from the node and release the noodle over here, I get a search box where I can sh search for, um, let's say, multiply uh, with a float. So when I hit enter, it uh, adds the node and connect the noodles. So that's exactly what I would like to see in Blender. Uh, maybe not case sensitive in the uh, beginning, but uh, at least have this uh, when you drag out the noodle and release it, uh, you jump into a search function and you can find the node you want to add, and uh, it adds it and then connects the two nodes. So um, here I am in Blender 2.78. No, Blender 2.79 actually. I downloaded a build. Um, so I installed. Um, socket search stuff from uh, Scottish Cyclops um, so if I add a node here uh, yeah I can add it like with the search mix RGB node click it to clack so what I would like to have is um, when you drag out a noodle and left click you see this uh, event is fired Whoop. that one node link detached uh, no, node link detached falls so it would be nice if um, that event, uh, event is fired that detachment it falls uh, you jump into this menu so you could search for like uh, color ramp uh, click it and then it takes the output from the previous node and connect to um, the input of current node. I think you can do it with like uh, uh, maybe not if you press. I think it should be F. Yeah, F key connects. Does kind of some simple matching and connects uh, the matching sockets. Uh, but anyway, I checked out the um, code for this one, and it seems like socket release, socket search release uh, is left mouse release with uh, control true and shift true so I tried to do that with control shift and release but nothing happens but if, if I do control shift uh, left mouse I get this uh, release socket okay and then it um, as an attribute node and connect those two so that's fine but what really should be needed is this uh, part where you just uh, release the noodle and um, you go into search and add a node and then then it uh, connects uh, the two sockets so yeah that's basically where we're at uh, it's not really working yet 
there seems to be there seems to be some initial hope with 2.79 but uh, now it seems again like it's impossible so maybe we need some change uh, some code added to blender's um, master branch or something to make it possible but it would be really cool i just downloaded uh, on a similar note it's just upgraded from uh, animations node 1.6 to animations node uh, 2.0 because I saw some really cool progress going on there and uh, I wanted to give it a try yet again so I'm gonna do some simple tutorials to learn it but uh, as you can see here uh, the node add menus are a bit uh, more organized and has some kind of uh, some use of icons and it also has um, this search uh, uh, menu so control a I guess it's the same as this one maybe it's not anyways I'm just gonna add a, a number node here so it would be really cool I think uh, also for animations node if you were able to just uh, release a noodle and go into like the search uh, um, input and uh, then you can just drop it and it should probably auto connect like that uh, and I also seen if you take this random list uh, uh, output if I connect these two with F key it adds this um, uh, get the length of the list node automatically so it has some kind of neat functions already there the only thing I would like to see um, added for this is uh, or generally in Blender is that you could um, we could have an add-on that uh, enables when you just uh, left uh, release uh, uh, a noodle that's not connected to anything it uh, you get this um, this search uh, menu by default so yeah uh, that's basically where we're at it's not really working and um, if there's somebody out there uh, that uh, are pretty familiar with Unreal and know how powerful and easy this is to add nodes and also would like to see it in Blender and uh, would like to contribute you can check out this uh, repository um, fork it or download it and check out the code and see if you can hel help out all help uh, is needed and wanted and I would be really thankful if we somehow got it into Blender or by be it just an add-on or if we actually has to commit some code to the repository um, so yeah that's basically where we're at and um, I'm gonna hopefully try to make more videos about this uh, the further we go but it seems to be a bit impossible to do it in Blender 2.79 uh, so maybe we can have some hope for, hope for 2.8 since it seems to be um, a lot of the code is going to be revamped but there is like this event that's uh, called node link detach false which sounds like it should be the perfect one because yeah even if you detach it uh, or attach it it's a detach false uh, but anyways uh, i don't really know the inner working of that uh, event but it would be really cool so yeah, that's a, it was a really short video. I'm gonna wait for uh, screen space reflection to be added uh, into EV to make the next video. But until then, bye.